Let's get rich, what? The GK Vines and Sugar Dimes can't quit, what? Now pop the crocus in the Vega and get lit, what? 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 Introducing Phantom Up. Hola. Me llamo. Horilla. Horilla. Horilla, I guess? I don't know. I don't know how to say Gorilla for I know it's a Horilla. But, um, I'm using a pretty gay ass class. Hit Mark. <laughs> yeah, exit Mark. Uh, wanted me to use this. He said it's like really easy to build kill streaks and stuff with. He recommended it and then later on he told me. Because I play with exit Mark in real life. He's really cool. If you haven't seen my rise shielding with exit Mark, watch that video. It's hilarious. He just makes it gold. But, um,. <clears throat> yeah, so basically, I'm kind of camping this area out, this whole game, because like I, I said in one of my other commentaries, or I might say it in a later commentary, that I use my classes to the full potential, and so if this thing has one-man army claymores on it, uh, hell yeah, I'm going to whore those things up. I'm not going to waste that perk. So um, if you have a perk on the class, use that perk, all right? Use it for what it's used for. Alright, but um, it doesn't mean I'm not going to say don't use certain perks, because <laughs> uh, I still don't think anyone should use Commando, because that that's stupid, and it sucks, and I hate it. And it's just a new perk, I'm sorry. If you use Commando, it's just, you're displaying a lack of skill, alright? I'll tell you that much right now. I'll say it to your face, too. Commandos for noobs. So, <clears throat> and especially if you put like a commando and danger close one man army noob tube class, and then just get off the game, you scrub. Alright? You suck. Anyways, so yeah, if you have a perk on though, like, I know like your first prestige, you have like steady aim and commando, and some people don't really care for steady aim since it sucks in this game. Then slap commando on and actually do use it. I mean, like, if it's on your class, don't waste it. If you put Commando on there, then, I mean, it's a waste to not use it, alright? I'll just tell you that. But it doesn't mean you should use it. I'm saying don't put Commando on your class. But it happens to be there, then just use it, I guess. Because uh, it's basically like having two perks. You're hurting yourself if you put a new perk on, then don't use it, because I told you not to. Um, I'm just saying use something more useful, like Ninja or something. Uh, um, and yeah, I did decide what to do. So, yeah. Suck it. Um, yeah, this, this is boring gameplay. It's just camping, changing kits. I'm basically hanging around the B area, trying to build up as many kills as I can. In the beginning, it's pretty slow. But uh, at the end, I, uh, I start picking up some kills. I think I get a triple spray in the end or something like that. Or I get like a three piece, I get like a double spray, and then I jump and then get the other guy. But yeah, it's pretty boring. It's pretty boring for this first part. And, uh... I'm not sure if I cap a... Aw, oh, I wanted to show you guys something, but I guess I can't. Um... Yeah, so... Oh, this is hilarious! Did you guys see that? Oh... I just... I feel like I'm playing against some PS3 players or something. Those guys suck. I was just bossing it up for a quick second. That was bullshit. But, um, yeah, it's boring gameplay, basically. Well, that was cool, but, you know, I don't like this class. I don't really, like, encourage people to use it that much. But if you want to use it, go ahead, I guess. <clears throat> Expand your horizon, you know? Uh, I am capping B all the time, though. That's kind of, like, what I set myself up for in this game, is just be the protector of B. And I think it's funny when you're capping a flag and changing a kit, it has, like, two loading bars at the same time. Looks funky. Funky monkey. But, uh. Yeah, I'm Gorilla Phil, the funky monkey, right? But. Anyways, I hope you guys watched E3 or just watched the trailers. I didn't actually watch the actual show or whatever. I don't even really know what E3 is that much. I just know it shows games and stuff like that. It's like a convention, I guess. But, um. That. I heard that claim will go off, so that's why I chipped it to trick him, and I tried doing the masturbator and planning one on him. And, um, yeah, but I hope you guys watch that, because some crazy games are coming out. Um, this is a game called Homefront. The gameplay looks like Battlefield Bad Company 2, which I think is stupid. 
so I, I just don't like that game. It's just, it has poor mechanics, if that makes sense. Like the movement of everything just doesn't feel realistic, it doesn't feel right. Like Call of Duty just feels like so perfect, like they really perfected the movements and everything, like the speed the player moves and <sighs> sensitivity, all that stuff, it just works out well in this game. And um, it looks like that, but the trailer for that game is nuts. It starts off with uh, Hillary Clinton or some bitch, yeah, talking about North Korea and South Korea, or North Korea launching missiles on South Korea, and then like North Korea after Kim Kim Jong Il dies, which is the leader of North Korea, and they all like form this giant communist nation, and then they fucking start taking over everything. They EMP the whole United States and start taking over our ass too craziness it's just crazy I just love that intro it just made me smile like I watched it like 10 times this is a trailer but it's it's awesome and then also there's a little bit of gameplay release for black ops which is the shit that game's gonna be the best of the best I hope <laughs> don't don't quote me on that shit either but that game's gonna be tight um yeah, I'm really, I'm just look, really looking forward for Black Ops. I feel like it's gonna be way better than Modern Warfare 2. I don't feel, I know it's gonna be better than Modern Warfare 2. Um, uh, it seems like I was watching the gameplay trailer, and it seems like it's using a similar engine to this game. So like the assault rifles, I think are gonna have the whole recoillessness again, which I can deal with because this is, this game is like, it's my baby. I know how to work this game really well. So I can deal with that. A lot of people were looking forward to having it bring back a COD 4 engine or a World of War engine kind of, which is so like they'd have like the more recoil guns and the the movements would be similar and stuff like that. Because you can tell the difference between movement and gameplay between COD 4 and World of War between Modern Warfare 2, because it does have the new the new different engine in it. But um, <clears throat> I'll be able to deal with that. I actually kind of hope it it's like that. Even though most people might might hate me, it could go either way, and I'd like it. It doesn't matter for me. But um, it's it looks like a great game. It looks so cool. The watch that little gameplay that they showed. Just Google it, I guess. Um, also, Mr. Lancey Pansy has some stuff out about that. Uh, he posted some videos about the E3 stuff, so go to his page and check those out if you haven't. And um. Yeah, so it just the games look like they're just gonna be stepping it up. There's also this game called Crisis, and it looks like um, the gun. I don't know. It looks similar to Modern Warfare 2, but it seems like there's some some aliens or some shit like that going on it. But um, it, that one looks like it's gonna be decent. I'm not sure if it's definitely a buyer, but that one. Transformers, Black Ops, Reach is coming out. I'm not a Halo fan, but I know everyone's excited about that. And then, um, what else do we got coming up? I don't know, but when those games come out next November, or I know Black Ops coming out in November. I don't even know the dates of anything else, but Reach is coming out November, like same time Black Ops, basically. And, um, just, so... It sucks that I'm gonna be back in school when all this awesome stuff comes out. But I'll be a senior, so I won't be doing anything, which is awesome. And uh, it's when I get when those games come out, expect some serious gameplay. What the hell was that guy doing? I did. That was weird. He was just chilling. I don't even remember that happening. I guess he was just staring at my butt or something. Yeah, I was checking out my assets. And then I got up and killed him. Cause he's a little punk. Um, but yeah, also, oh, the X, the Xbox 360 250 gig, which is the, the proper name, I'm pretty sure it's, it doesn't have, sorry, I'm getting too close to the mic, aren't I? Alright, <clears throat> I need to train myself on this thing. But, um, it's gonna be called the, the Xbox 360 250 gig. It's not gonna have, like, a name, like, Slim or anything like that, I'm pretty sure. People are calling it Slim, but it's not the Slim, it's the 250 gig. And it is awesome, pretty much. It's basically a PS3. X. It's like Xbox. Oh, here's a three piece I was talking about earlier. Eh, yeah, okay, that wasn't even that much of a three piece, but that was cool. Um, 
three piece extra crispy. But the new Xbox, it's black, it's like sexy design, it looks cool. It's got 250 gigs, which is the same as the best PS3 out, and it's only $300. So this thing is straight competition now. There's really, the deciding factor is if you want PS3 and or Xbox is that internet. If you want the free, the free PSN, which is like Xbox Live, if you want that free PSN network, you don't want to pay for going online, then that's the reason to get a PS3. But if you're willing to pay for it and you want the better online experience, Xbox is the way to go now. Just there's nothing other choice now. It's just it looks tight. So go check out all that stuff. It's awesome. Grill Philip.